toughest year ever. And this is actually the sales pitch. This is what I say to people, make this end of year um, one to remember. So most people aren't able to get together for Christmas and for Christmas parties, but have a standout Christmas. And um, we're finding that we're being contacted by lots of corporations who are saying, actually, I haven't spent anything on stationery. I've spent nothing on our office expenses. We haven't got travel, entertainment, and we're definitely not having a Christmas party. Maybe we could swap that into experience vouchers. So that's what we're, as I said, we are a conduit from big business to small. We connect people. And for every dollar that's spent with us, it turns into $10 in community. It is going to be a very, very important year to celebrate. Not only about putting it behind us, it's been a busy year. We've asked more of our teams and our people than we ever have before and to work differently. And it's our job to make sure it's easy. We're one of the few um, platforms, in fact, nobody else knows what's open. And the only reason we know what's thawing in Victoria, we have a project called Thaw, is because we're on the phone with them. A little bit of luxury this year goes a long way. $100 spent on a red balloon voucher for somebody to go and get a um, chocolate walking tour or go and have a wine tasting experience is far more valuable than it's ever been before. And as I said, the why red balloon is about this. Now, this is the most important thing. If you think about your own sales presenters, understand the impact that you're having and the job you're being hired to do. So we are a conduit. We have more than 3,000 corporate customers. Um, Salesforce, Atlassian, Commonwealth Bank are just some of them. But um, MetLife, we've got incredible supporters in corporate and they want to support local communities and they don't necessarily know how. As I said, when people buy a $100 voucher with us, we take our little clip of the ticket. That money gets paid to the supplier before the activity. It costs nobody, it costs nothing for a supplier to list with us, but they have to meet our quality criteria. And, um, but as um, Balloon Loft was saying, they said, yeah, but when you send us, let's say $100 worth of a ticket, ends up as $300 in my pocket because they'll buy another ticket, they'll buy a drink, they'll buy a souvenir. But he says, the best thing is, that it ends up at about at least another $700 in the Hunter because they buy accommodation, they buy wine, they, you know, eat out at restaurants. And he said, so for every dollar they spend with you, it ends up at $10 in community. And that's been a really powerful message for us talking to corporates and also to government about the impact that we're having. But we did, you can't do that unless you've got the framework around it. And trust is materially important. Red Balloon brand represents trust. Uh, the community spirit in which we operate. It is about emotional connection and the storytelling. We're very socially aware. We do have an ESG program or a C program in terms of sustainability and contribution, but it's also being socially aware about what is right in terms of consumer or customer sentiment right now. And um, consumer sentiment is about buy local. It is about um, supporting Australians and job growth. And I know for a fact that because of the work that we've done, we've created 50,000 jobs within our network. Um, one of our experienced partners uh, earlier, as we went into lockdown, a gin distillery in Victoria, he used to host about eight people a week in his um, gin experience at his location. Uh, he, he did try all of the things of going into producing uh, sanitizer, but it's not as easy as they think because it's highly, highly flammable. So there's a lot of uh, controls around that. And so we encouraged him to do virtual gin tasting. So what he did was create these sample packs and send them out to customers. Um, and then they would dial in for the, for the uh, gin tasting. Now, the thing is that he was delivering these packs to Darwin, to South Australia, people who were never going to come to his cellar door. And so in that first month, we sold about 400 of these activities. So he went from kind of eight to 400 and he had to employ somebody to actually run this business. Now, the difference being for him as a supplier was he can speak to his own customers, but they already know what his gin tastes like. He's looking for new customers. So it became a sampling exercise for his business, which how the economic multiplier works in what Red Balloon does and why our suppliers come to us. So, um, you know, our job is to create incremental business for our suppliers. And that is the message that we give them and why they're happy to pay us a clip of the ticket. And that's 
the way we work. So, but our job is to make sure they're going to be fabulous. It's a marketplace with assurance program to make sure they all um, abide by all the laws in the land. Um, and as I said, uh, we have a high quality rating. And uh, in 2019, we put $85 million into community, which is $850 million worth of economic impact. This year, we were going for a billion, but we may miss that out. So... Um, what we're actually selling, this is, you know, you've got to actually tell people how to use what you're doing, uh, what job you're being hired to do. You know, we can take an experience voucher and we can basically put it on anything. We can put it in a text. We can put it on a personalized gift card. We can have it on a digital card. We can put it in a gift certificate and have it delivered with bun. Uh, we've got a responsible range to make sure that we have a range that is uh, it, that is sustainable to the planet probably why we can't get any glamping. Um, we've got Christmas themed gift cards. And this year, because a lot of people can't get out and about, they're looking for a little bit more. So we have a range of hampers. So think of a craft beer uh, delivered to you, but in it comes a brewery tour. So you can take it at some point in the next five years or a, a pasta making uh, kit but you also get the Italian cooking class to go with it. And that's been really popular, particularly when a lot of people are uh, not comfortable or can't get out really and still aren't getting out and about. Just a summary about our footprint and how big we are and, and to give our corporate clients uh, confidence in our reach. And the other thing that we like to talk about is the breadth of our range so that people know that we're supporting the whole of community and regional. And uh, one of the things that we've done through this time is work with Tourism Australia and Destination New South Wales and the tourism uh, bodies because they're looking for real accountability also in their media spend and we can definitely show them exactly how many experiences were booked as a result of the promotion that we're doing. So that also, as I said, is how many are direct live in terms of bookings, what's um, open and also we often go for exclusivity and having something exclusive, something to consider for your own businesses because that's a key differentiator when it comes to people using Google as a, um, as a competitive analysis. They, it's very hard for them to shop and compare when we have exclusives. So that's a, a barrier um, of protecting a moat around our business. So um, as I said, I've worked with small businesses for 20 years and it's been a really, really tough time. Um, Global ballooning, uh, actually it was Balloon Aloft. Well, I've worked with Global Ballooning as well for 20 years, but Balloon Aloft tells the story that when we started together, they had one balloon and, nine, and 700 passengers. And uh, last year they had 19 balloons and 23,000 passengers. And we made it 20 balloons because the one behind me is my red balloon. I don't own a car, but I own a red balloon. <laughs> and unfortunately this year it's been in a box more than out of, it, out of the box. Uh, but we've grown together and I think that's the other thing is when you start a business, you don't realise the longevity of relationships. Business is all about relationships. It's all about trust and it's not about doing a deal today. It's about how do we grow together. Um, you know, I was up in, um, in southern Queensland a few years ago and I was sitting next to this guy at a speaking engagement and he said, Naomi, I have been a supplier to Red Balloon for uh, seven years. And I go, oh. What do you do? And he goes, I'm the world's best paddleboarder. And I said, oh, fantastic. He said, you deliver me 80% of my customers. He goes, I can't work that digital marketing stuff out. You know, one day I spend five bucks, I get a customer, the next day I send 10 and I don't. He said, what I like about you is you just deliver me customers. And of course I said, well, where do the other 20% come from? He said, the traditional way I put um, flyers in local hotels and, um, and, and so forth and at the airport. So, you know, our job is to make sure that these fabulous, fabulous craftsmen, artisans and gifted world champions are world champions and we just are their outsourced marketing partner and that we gave them a brand. And it's really these stories that keep me uh, going. I like to show people who the leadership team is. I don't do this on the own, on my own. I hate it when I see an article, she did this and she did that. I honestly didn't. <laughs> All I did was make sure that I have fabulous business partner, David Anderson, and a really, really great leadership team around me. Um, and um, they are just a fabulous team and we are incredibly close. Gemma, who you can see there, she started with me back in 2003. So we've been on a 17 year journey together um, and all this team, we've been together for quite some time. And um, 
I like to leave people with a, a statement, you know, for 20 years I've brought Australians together and to get to the other side, we must come together, make every moment count. So that's my sales pitch. I can't believe I gave that to you. I've never done oh, sales pitch. Well done. <laughs> ah, but I guess it's good for you to kind of see how I present the business because from this you'll be able to see, well, how am I presenting my own business? Because it is about the, the stories and the emotional connection and, and to be able to show people uh, what they can can do we can close stop sharing now but it, you know what they can it can do to help um, and out of the bushfires I was telling the stories of some of our suppliers who've been really hit hard by the bushfires and people just want to know what they can do and if they think their corporate credit card can buy a few vouchers and they've made a difference it makes people feel good so uh, so I that's it was such a great yeah. pitch and I think <laughs> not only the startup grind community worldwide will enjoy to see how a shark actually pitches <laughs> it's me being very passive by the way you know keeping the energy low and by the way just to finish off there's the, my qr code there so yeah, nice if one. you want to stay in touch with me every two weeks i send out a little update of what i'm learning and i know you get it tony but just dial that and put your little details in there and and please everybody on this call stay stay connected because i, I learn a lot and i want to